definitely we back on the show touchline continues until three o'clock so keep stay tuned of course we with Mugai Kiguru and Dennis Okeo talking about what is happening in Tokyo Japan for Olympics that are ongoing so far as we speak right now currently 10,000 so I'm going a few minutes to the completion of the race Ellen Obiru of course in contention to bag a gold medal or probably uh, a medal bracket for that particular case Mugai just uh, tell us about uh, uh, what your evaluation of Kenyan athletes and uh, what they have been doing, especially bagging six, eight medals so far. I think as we speak right now, we are 22nd on the global standings, having bagged three gold medals, three silver and two bronze. Do you think that is a, a super achievement or an underperformance? I, I, I think... I think um, I'm, I'm of the school of thought that does not need to necessarily rate performance yeah. you know, in such uh, adjectives of uh, underperformance, poor performance. Because I believe that individual gave he, his or her best, isn't it? Um, and the way I look at things at the moment is uh, the performance you look at individually and uh, uh, you look at team. As a team, Team Kenya has not performed, so to speak. But if you look at uh, in the individual sports, uh, uh, athletics has somewhat delivered, you know. Other countries who, f who sent delegations, they sent different teams. Yes. Isn't it? Athletics, boxing, stuff like that. And you look at the complement that each sport is giving the other when it comes to the contribution to the to the medals, you know. Uh, you look at uh, some of the big teams, Japan, US, Italy, uh, China, they have a medal in this sport, they have a medal in that other sport, then they have a medal in track and field. You see, that complements... Uh, the, the, it's the, the diversification. The, yes. But you see, the, the for Kenya, it is... We are overlying on athletics. Athletics. And it is not something that has been happening today and yesterday. It is something that has been happening. I think the last, the last uh, medal outside uh, uh, athletics in an Olympic came. I think it came either in '88 or in '92. Barcelona. I'm not quite sure about that, but I believe it was in boxing. You see, so my belief is that um, Kenya, as a country, has not done uh, too much. Uh, to contribute to the medal tally, you know, as a country. Because uh, I feel uh, the investment into sports. Yesterday we were, have, we were, we were checking on uh, some countries that were not doing so well in, uh, in, in, in uh, Olympics. Um, and our biggest conclusion was that a team like uh, Poland, yeah, they are having a team or an individual in every other final. You see, and this is athletics, isn't it? You go back to these other sports, they have a, 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 a thrower here, but I think the lady, can't recall the name, won the, the, the uh, one, two in, uh, in Hammer. You see, this, I think that's, that's what we need to come back and do as a country, invest in that diversification, you know, and ensure that if there is somebody who wants to train for swimming, there are facilities either Kasarani. It is not only Kasarani. You can have either Kasarani or this other place or that other place, you know. If it is somebody who wants to do archery. I saw there is a lady who is doing some archery in, in I think it is in Gong. Yes. But there is so much into archery that in terms of equipment, she cannot do it on her own. When it comes to table tennis and these other uh, racket games, there needs to be an investment from uh, the government, you know. But the way you look at it is, it is either clubs, you see, like you go to uh, Parkland Sports Club, I think you can play squash and some of those other uh, events. But nationally, we don't have that. And that with, without doing that, we will continue relying on athletes who are not into it because they have been sponsored, but it, it is individual brilliance. Fantastic insights coming from you. Deno, do you tend to read from some script with what Miga is saying that it has to be a collective responsibility so that we doesn't overlie on one sport 
that's why you know there is there has been much noise coming from social media users who <laughs> believe that we are not performing well because our athletes had not started uh, participating yeah yeah we, we get is quite clear and, and very right on on this on on uh, on, on the, the on the matter and um I'm a hundred percent behind what he had just said. Mm -hmm. we, we we tend to rely a hundred percent on athletics. It's high time that uh, we also send other disciplines to, to international meets or global uh, competition. I was I was checking on on the, the on the the entry of a U.S. team, that American team. They have pre representation in every single <laughs> Olympic game. Someone was asking me the same question. In athletics alone, they, are, they have entered three athletes in every discipline. So if you check, you check all the finalists, all the final, you'll see a, a US presentation. You go to the swimming, there's a US representation. You go to squash, and they're all, always three, 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 three. Athletes alone, they, they, they sent 150 athletes. And as we, how many did we send? We only sent 40. And we expect to compete at the same level with these guys. It's just high time uh, government and uh, corporates come and embrace sports. We, we have talent. You, you check um, the, the way, the way um, uh, Omanyala performed at, yes. at, at, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at, the, at going up to, to, to semis, semi-final. Running 10-01 at the Olympic is not the one, or, or, or one of the things that uh, is, is, um, is very hard. And he achieved it. Why? Because he had some training outside the country. He trained in South Africa for almost three months before coming for the trial. And he also uh, had uh, some meets in Nigeria, in South Africa, yeah, where he, where he got the, some sharpening towards the, the Olympics. The sprint is also very, very expensive. It's unlike um, uh, long distance tra uh, tra uh, competition. Sprints, you need diets, nutrition is needed there, gym is needed there, then speed work. All of this require money. Unlike long distance, where you find they skip nutrition, they only do long distance training. Yeah, then you eat uh, your local managu, local music. <laughs> then go there and perform. Miguel, <laughs> yes. what do we do with, you know, those races, especially where we're having veterans who are aging or probably they retired, like what happened in 3,000 meters steeple chase? It's a race we've dominated, I think, for the last three Olympic championships, we've been bagging gold since Ezekiel Kempoi and even the predecessors, those who started before him. But this time round, we didn't do well. I don't know. What do we do? We start now uh, training the newcomers for proper replacement so that we continue with good performance in those particular respective races. I think um, my observation on, uh, on sports, uh, we have to embrace three things. And these three things include, one, the talent. You know, that athlete must be talented. Two, that athlete must have the resources to train. You know, a jacket, a, a, a jacket here, a shoe there, a spike there, you know. Then you have, uh, you need to have the third, which means science. Because uh, the way I look at sport at the moment, without sports science, you're not going to go far, you know. Um, when it comes to training pre uh, predecessors, or I, mean, I mean successors, yes. into some of these events, it requires a lot. Um, I think individuals who ran in the under 17 and, no, under 18 and under 20 for the previous two championships for Kenya, I think in, in Tokyo, I think we only had two. That is Mary Mora and Edna Jibitok, uh, if, if, if yeah, I've done my two. maths well. Yeah, so that, that kind of succession is, is what we need. I, I saw uh, a lady, I think she's called Vincente from Spain. I saw that guy from uh, uh, 
Brazil, yeah, uh, Dos Santos, Santos. Yes. and I saw uh, a Cuban who ran in the under 17, uh, under, under 18 and under 20 championships, the previous championships. So for them, it means there is a succession. Continuity there, follow there is continuity. Up. That's, that's what we need because you look at Kenya, the guy whom we thought could come up and, 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 and uh, get crushed that, that uh, uh, steeplechase was a guy called Leonard Bett, but he failed or he fell along the way, you know. So it becomes really tricky for athletics to say that you can train. How do you train? You know, how do you train somebody without this this other stuff that I mentioned about? Because Bet is talented, isn't it? But does he have the science? Does he have the resources? The closure of camps and sporting facilities during the lockdown, I think it was it was one of the most ill-advised uh, move by the government. You know. Because I think uh, due to that, we didn't have our athletes uh, training properly. And for you to train properly, you have to train for something. You see, you train for a trial. Yeah. You know, you must have something you are looking forward to. Most of these athletes, they were, uh, to use the word desolate would be harsh, but then let's use it. You know, an athlete, you ask an athlete, are you training? Uh, yeah, today I ran five, but I don't feel like I'm going for the afternoon session. Why? There's nothing. I'm not training for anything. You see, because they are used to train for a race here, a race there. And that contributes to what this individual is going to give at the top level. Look at the, the, the volleyball team. They are the best in Africa, isn't yes. it? Yes. But they don't participate in circuits where some of these other teams are, are training, you know? They are not, they're not in such circuits. So it becomes very, very difficult for them to compete with such teams. Yeah. So Robert is telling me that as it looks like we are not in the medal bracket of yeah. 10,000 meters, we've not managed to secure a uh, top three finish. They know. Yes. Uh, You've yeah. been multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Being on the show is actually on the other end. It's actually uh, uh, Sifan has just won uh, won uh, the, the, the ten thousand women's race. Uh, second is uh, an lady from Bahrain, also formerly Ethiopian, and third is Gide. Gide was the uh, one you you guys were talking about, yeah. and yes. you had tipped her to yes, be the favorite be, for the race. Exactly, mm -hmm. and um, she she has finished third. Obere, I'm not sure if she finished the rest. Uh, she finished, yes. She I finished think maybe fifth at, the, fifth at the back. Four? Fourth. Fourth. Yeah. Can we attribute her performance to exhaustion? Yes, we, we, we can. And, and But all athletes are really blaming the heat. The heat there is too much for them, and especially for long distance. And um, uh, earlier, I told you earlier, I was chatting with uh, Lawrence Cherono. Yes, uh, yes. Which uh, who is, will be running in marathon? Yes, he's among the favorites. For me, I would love him to win. And he was telling me that um, do, uh, at their race, which is tomorrow, there, yeah, their race will the weather will be more hotter than the way it was at, at, at the women's race. So actually, they are expecting brutal, brutal weather. And Miguel was touching on a very critical point yes. that you know this competition is happening in the wake of you know uh, a, a serious Pandemic. crisis in coronavirus. I don't know. What do you think about what the athletes, the athletes themselves, have done to defy you know the difficulties that come with this particular pandemic in order to continue performing better? Uh, this this year's uh, this time's Olympic is always more of a participation because everyone believed that uh, it was not going to happen. <laughs> so so, it so was whatever. More guesswork. It's more guesswork. And uh, and I, I was here earlier and I told you that um, Japan had really invested heavily on this. Yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, and they wanted by all means that it to happen. For 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 athletes to go there and win, I think it's a plus. A plus for them. They've really did, did very well, and congratulations for them. And I've seen so many uh, personal best coming from a, a middle, um, a short and middle distance. And uh, I think that's a, a, a quite, quite an achievement. 1,500 meters men coming up 
It's only okay. in the next one hour, I think, at 2.45 p.m. What are the expectations? Timothy Riot, Abel Kipsang. Of course, he ran a personal best or he break his personal mm. record? A personal record and Olympic, Olympic, Olympic record, 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 which uh, previously was uh, held by no one again. Wow. Yeah. What mm. do we expect, Miguel? Um, let me say, uh, Tokyo has taught me how not to be uh, <laughs> speculative. <laughs> yeah, because you look at most of those races eh, and uh, how the Kenyans are performing and how the other athletes are performing. Um, I would say yes. I'm 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 hopeful that Timothy will uh, deliver that that gold. You know. Yes. And uh, I'm also I, I also have watched how Kip Sengren. Uh, the, the young guy and uh, putting in our, an Olympic record uh, performance in the semis in uh, I think it was a great achievement now the question is did he go too hard too early you know as in in the semis when it doesn't to, matter uh, most <laughs> to, uh, to mean that when it comes to the final he will not have a lot in his reserves uh, to chase down the competitors. That is only something we can we can wait and watch. But um, I'm I'm hopeful that we are going to have at least two medals in that race. Two medals, yes. Two medals, yeah, in sure. That race, sure. Yes. Quite unfortunate that we are missing one big man. Of course, who I saw on social media roaring to come back stronger during Oregon Championship next year, uh, Elijah Manangoi. You think his presence will have added some impetus to Kenyan you know, performance? You know, um, uh, um, Elijah is a warrior. He's more of a lion, the way he calls himself. He's a, he's a, he has a very strong personality, strong uh, spirit, and he can defy anything. Missing, missing him, him there was unfortunate, but he's really back in training, full gear in, in, in preparation, and by 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 November, I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll be competing in the, uh, in a, in a uh, indoors competition across Europe. Because by that time, his man uh, will has come to an end. So we, I expect him to to do well. Being in course. constant touch with these guys, even including Timothy Cheriot, how 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 is he? You know, looking forward to. What we are about to see in the next few minutes is he confident that he can do it? Just, just, <laughs> just, just before coming in to, to the set, yes. uh, I just started uh, 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 Elijah, and I say, he's saying that uh, if the pace, if the pace is, uh, is is fast, he's going to win it. Sure. Yes. And I think we've bagged 1500 meters before. Asbel Kiprok has done it in yeah, Olympics. Yeah, yeah but uh, for him, it, I think it was the one that was delayed. Is that somebody delayed? Is that somebody delayed? won Someone. it, but was yeah. banned for, for, for yeah. ARDV. And so it was not automatic. Yeah, it was not automatic, it was not automatic yes. But I feel, I feel like, like Dennis says, uh, I feel uh, if we had Timothy and Managoi in, in that championship. They would have backed then, each other. Then yeah. that, that, that would have been a race for the gold, you know, who we amongst the two would mm. win it. But that does not mean I'm going to underrate Kipsang. Yes. No. I'm, 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 I know what it makes, what it takes for somebody to come through the Kenyan trials to go to a championship and make it all the way to the final. I don't know whether you saw the Cuban girls when they they realized they would be in the in the four by one hundred meters final for the women. Those girls celebrated like literally, because <laughs> making a final, yes, making a final is is at the Olympics is something huge. So for Kipsang, I, I think he can he can he can uh, make his name so to speak. Yes. Yeah, maybe to add on. This Olympic has really produced some of the brilliant uh, uh, runners. Also, I, I I saw I first met the lady from Uganda who won Stipo Chimutai. Chimutai, mm -hmm. I first met her in 2016 at, at uh, secondary school games in in Eldoret. Then later I met her in in Finland. She has never won a race outside her country. What? Yes, she has never won a race outside uh, uh, Uganda, whether Diamond League, anyway. But she went there, claimed the goal at the right time. So even, uh, you never know, uh, Abel can surprise. Yeah. I, I, think, I think to add on, 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 on what Dennis talked about, bear with her. 
uh, I think my my biggest shock of, of, of the Olympics is this guy called Jacobs uh, from <laughs> Italy. You know, um, I see there are some issues that are cropping up now. But for him, the big man to to win the 100 meters uh, final and know, break right? and break those those the dominance the by dominant. the U.S. and the yeah, Jamaicans, the I think it was a big thing. And to consider that this guy until 2018, he was he a was jumper. A jumper. But then he transitioned. See, and it worked. And it worked. So um, we, I think we are going to have some shock more players. shock results. I hope it is not. Do, Kenya do you think losing people like final. and countries like Jamaica have also suffered from the undoing we are suffering from continuity program, like you know uh, what they were experts in, especially in 100 meters, not doing very well. Um, that's a very interesting question because uh, Dennis and I were looking at the Jamaicans and their performances at this particular Olympics. I think the only veteran I saw in that Jamaican team are let's say people who have ran beyond rio i think it was the big man you see black yes and uh, sherry and fraser price so most of these other guys who are in, in in the jamaican team are relatively young you see and they were in every other semi-final every other final mm -hmm. the only thing is they are, were not winning especially for the men but you look at the finals, all those finals, they have representation, either two or three. So I'm, 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 what I'm saying is, uh, maybe Jamaica, this was not their championship. But going forward, they have, they have something in their reserves that they can unleash when it matters. Yeah. Yeah, what, what are our expectations tonight? <laughs> Just to add before yes. that. Uh, Momo, or the age bracket for Jamaica, is, uh, I saw it was around 23 years. So there's people who will be there beyond Paris 2024. Tonight. That's good planning. Yes, mm -hmm. tonight um, um, we are winning gold. <laughs> yes. Um, Elliot Kipchoge is doing it. It doesn't matter who, but gold <laughs> is coming to Kenya. As a country, we are going to defend, uh, we defend the gold medal. It's coming back home. I think the way you speculated, we likely to get to five. Yes. Or even if possible, surpass it, Miguel. Is there a possibility? No, no, we can't. No, surpass now it. we can't surpass because, because we've lost the ten thousand has gone. Ten thousand, yeah. yes. So, what are our permutations in marathon men and and fifteen hundred meters men and fifteen hundred yes. meters men? The yes. one that is happening at two forty five. Two forty five, yes. yes. So, um, I'm pretty sure the preparation, uh, the, our marathon team. Uh, uh, managed to, to get. We have a strong, strong team, both both in, in the one that finished last, last night and this one, the, the one coming tonight. Yeah, there's likelihood we are going to get two medals in marathon, gold included. <laughs> <laughs> I like that confidence. Yes, I'm very confident, and uh, I can go on record and say that uh, we are going to win gold tonight and uh, another gold in 1500 meters it looks like a marathon race is quite intense there had to be change of venue from where to what where it will be Sapporo. happening Sapporo. Uh, yeah. yeah um i think uh, this was a decision that was taken very early when there were those preparations for the for the for the olympics and it was decided that um, the long walks i think both all walks and the marathons would happen in uh, in uh, Sapporo and not in in Tokyo because um, I think the organizers felt uh, uh, that the weather or the temperatures and climate or you, whatever you call it in Sapporo would be better than it is in uh, in in Tokyo um, and when you talk about the intensity of a marathon <laughs> uh, I don't know how I can put it because I think I think marathon is is so so intense because uh, especially in a competition uh, at competition level because uh, you have to combine a lot of aspects a lot of aspects both bodily uh, uh, and outside um, but like Dennis says I think uh, even even. 
even without looking at the training after the team was named, uh, I think you can look at the, the, the championships or the road races, the marathons that these teams, the athletes in Team Kenya, how they performed in those particular races uh, towards uh, their naming into Team Kenya. They performed uh, very well, you know, and if they can keep that uh, and bring that, that form from uh, uh, a road race or, or a, a city marathon uh, situation into a championship, uh, I think it would be a very, very big plus. But championships, I think, are the most uh, unpredictable uh, <laughs> competitions. Yes. Just, just to add on, on top of that before, yes. Max, don't expect first time in no. this marathon. Look at uh, uh, last night, the, 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 the time. You will mm. find someone running... Um, I think it uh, was 2.27? No, yeah. 2.31, around 2.30s. Yeah, and their personal best was 2.17. So yeah. you see the, the, the time. Even this one, the one who will win the, the, this championship will clock uh, not, more, not, not uh, more than two hours, eight minutes. So the, the, don't expect the time value has been post posting over yeah. two hours, <laughs> three minutes. Don't expect those time. <laughs> yes. there, there, is, there is a viewer here by the name Tom Ochel from from Kitui is asking your panelists can address this issue of selection of the athletes representing the country in Tokyo. Was it fair or biased? I don't know. Uh, there were, um, let me, uh, Miguel will add, all the athletes who were, they were invited according to their performance previously. You can't come out of, out of your village and come and compete at the trial. Trial is invite only and you are invited according to the time you've been running towards that. So, first, you have to be, have competed. Ath and Athletes Kenya did very well. They, they, they introduced two championships, yeah, which they were called, they called uh, pre-trials, for athletes, which were open, for athletes to come and gauge their time. Then they picked one, two, three, according to their performance. Then they, they added, uh, the, from, uh, that list they added from the elite, uh, elite, um, um, elite runners who have been competing in Diamond League in Europe. So uh, to me, as someone who was there, who has been there, it was fair. It was fair. Yes. There was um, no aspect of white cards this time round, right? You know, um, let me say, um, with, with the pandemic, yeah? I think uh, Athletics Kenya performed uh, exemplary in, in ensuring that they had uh, a team for Tokyo. Let me not talk about the rest of, 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 of the teams. Let me talk about athletics, which I followed I follow religiously, from the pre-trials to the trials and to the team naming. You realize that Athletics have this, this uh, rule they have by themselves that athletes who are going to compete at the trials are invited. It's an invite-only championship. But the introduction of the pre-trials means that every athlete had an opportunity to make it to the trials. You see, to make it into a list or into, to put them in a, in, in a situation where they can qualify to be in the in the trials. And with that, you also have to uh, factor one of the biggest headaches that this country has had in the recent times, and it is in doping. Yeah. Kenya is in category A. That means in terms of matters doping, they can't go any further. You know, the only, th the only thing that can happen is they go the Russian way, where they get banned. You see, so athletics Kenya, they have to also look at individuals who are coming for the pre-trials and the trials. And that is where you see the most, let me say the categorically, they missed by involving a guy called uh, Kamare Tiang in, in the, the trials. trials. Yes. Because this guy did not meet the mandatory uh, anti-doping uh, tests. What does the, the rule say? You need to be tested at least three times, you see, in the last 10 months, you know, that's at least out of competition, 
three times in the last 10 months. And those three times, it's not today and tomorrow. It has to be split at least 21 days apart. You see? Unannounced. And it is unannounced. They're out of competition, yeah? So everybody who is considered for the trials, AK must have to go back to their books. Mm -hmm. And so and so within the Anti-Doping Agency of Kenya uh, testing pool, or the Anti-Doping uh, uh, Athletes Integrity Unit testing pool. This is the body of the World uh, Athletics that is involved with ensuring the integrity. And that's how uh, anti-doping rule and adherence comes in. So for me, to cut a long story short, <laughs> it's what I do professionally. So the trials were clean. Yeah. The trials yeah. were clean and fair. Yes. And the same, if you, the, the, this, the Kenyan follow what happened to Nigerian athle athletes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, athletes who from Nigeria demonstrated carrying pla placards in, 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 uh, in Tokyo, complaining that they were denied an opportunity to compete. This only being 20 of them didn't get out of competition testing. Actually, they were hearing it for the first time there. <laughs> but again, it's a problem with the federation, it's yeah. not the athletes. Wow, excellent conversation this particular afternoon with these two gentlemen who are an authority when it comes to matters, Kenyan sports and beyond, especially athletics, and specifically what is happening in Tokyo during the ongoing Olympics in Japan. Of course, as they know predicted that, you know, Kenya is looking forward to other two, go two gold medals, and particularly tonight, <laughs> either gold or silver or bronze, regardless of who is winning, not necessarily Kipchoge, but it's a gold. Of course, we're going to put him to question as far as that one is concerned. Thank you for coming through and thank you for sharing your insights as far as what is happening in Tokyo Olympics. We're going to take a short break, then come back next with the fans on. Don't go away, stay tuned. It's the touchline.